The Social Security Disability application is long and complex. To improve the chance of enjoying a successful result, avoid making mistakes. For instance, don't collect unemployment while you're waiting for the outcome of a Social Security Disability Income SSDI, application. Don't continue to work after requesting SSDI benefits. Many successful first-time SSDI applicants engage an experienced SSDI attorney from the start. Social Security attorneys are paid on results. If you're in doubt about retaining an attorney because of the out-of-pocket expense, know that Social Security will pay your attorney from your paid benefits claim. If you're not approved for SSDI, your Social Security lawyer won't send invoices requiring payments during the Social Security Disability Application and Evaluation process. Every U.S. taxpayer pays into the Social Security system. If the Social Security beneficiary becomes totally disabled and he or she isn't able to perform employment duties, it's possible to apply for SSDI. Step 1. Visit the Social Security Administration website. Click on, Disability and SSI, and scroll down to, Qualify and Apply. It's possible to complete the Social Security Disability application online. Select whether you're submitting an application for SSDI benefits for a child or an adult. Step 2. Before you fill out the SSDI application, gather the information you need. If you're an adult preparing the SSDI application for yourself or a loved one, review the checklist for online adult disability application. Step 3. Click on the Adult Disability Starter Kit. The kit offers answers to commonly asked questions about Social Security Disability Income Benefits. It contains a worksheet to help you obtain the required data needed to properly file for SSDI. Step 4. Click to the Online Application for Social Security Benefits, now. Answer the questions on the SSDI application and, continue, to review information on the SSA.gov site regarding SSDI. Fill out the full Social Security Disability application online. Step 5. After completing the SSDI online application, provide your medical history and authorize SSA to access and or request medical records SSA, Adult Disability Report. Many disabled people say the SSDI application is complex. It's possible to partially complete the application and return to your work later. When in doubt, don't guess about the information you must supply to Social Security. Avoid making mistakes on the Social Security Disability Application. Avoid these Social Security Disability Application and Interview Mistakes. Mistake 1. Don't make the mistake of applying for unemployment insurance benefits after completing the SSDI application. Filing for SSDI means you've been physically or mentally unable to perform what Social Security considers substantial work activity for at least 12 months.